Hello, I'm gonna talk that a recent fluke optimization algorithm also achieves the delay optimality. Essentially, there exist interferences among wireless links because they share a medium, such as air. Therefore, a protocol is required to coordinate communications. We call it medium access control or MAP. It determines which links talk when. To understand MAP protocols, it is helpful to know a notion of link interference graph. It displays interference relationships among wireless links. Rings in wireless networks become two vertices in the interference graph, and two vertices are connected if corresponding wireless links interfere with each other. Return to the MAC protocol issue, there can be various target performance metrics such as throughput delay. A few years ago, the notion of throughput optimal map is defined, which stabilizes all queues as long as they can be stabilized by any scheduling algorithm. Recently, there has been a breakthrough where the throughput optimality can also be achieved by just locally controlling the scheduling parameters. It is called throughput optimal CSMA. The basic principle of CSMA is listen before talk. At each time slot, we randomly choose a ring, say V. If all interfering rings were silent, link V access the medium with probability A V. Otherwise, do nothing. In this example, suppose that we choose link 4. Due to link 3, link 4 should remain off. If link 5 is chosen, it accepts the medium with probability A5 since all interfering links are inactive. The certain optimality can be achieved by controlling A V based on Q rate or empirical service and variable rate so that long term throughput of the ring is equal to the mean input variable rate. However, the CSM algorithm supports from poor delay performance due to the high correlations in the scheduling process. In this example, at first, link 2 is off. To turn on the link 2, link 1 should be turned off first. However, for high throughput, medium access probabilities are typically said to be high. High A1 value let link 1 hold the medium for a long time. Meanwhile, the delay will link to growth. Recently, a CSMA algorithm with low delay called delayed CSMA was proposed. It is the same as the conventional CSMA, except only that the schedule is updated based on T step back state. We can interpret the delayed CSMA algorithm as follows Time is divided into frames where frames are composed of t time slots. All i time slots in frames are regarded as the virtual channel i. Each virtual channel independently runs a CSM schedule. In this example, all time slots correspond to red virtual channel and even time slots correspond to blue virtual channel. Red schedule and blue schedule take turns to be executed. Thus, the light transition from on up state to off on state now can be possible. Regarding the delayed CSM algorithm, we may be curious about the following questions. How far can the delay be reduced? How many virtual channels are enough? Our contribution is answering for those questions and providing a proof of the existence of both throughput optimal and delay optimal map for general network topologies. Regarding the delay optimality, on the many map algorithms, 
Delay is typically increased as the network size grows. However, if the delay is not increased, even though the network size grows, we say this is the delay optimum. This is the main theorem of our analysis. For bandly arrivals on the arbitrary network topology, if the number of virtual channels T is logarithmic for M, then the asymptotic expected Q lattice for all rings are constant. Regarding M, note that the scheduling dynamics of CSM algorithm forms a Markov chain. M is the mixing time of the underlying Markov chain. According to the references, the mixing time is M most exponential for network size, so the row n is M most linear with respect to the network size, but much smaller for many topologies. Thank you for listening to this presentation.